Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Bloodborne. And if you recall from the previous episode, I conquered the Hypogean Jail. Well, almost. Uh, there is a boss fight in there that I'm planning on going into fighting. But first, I gotta go back to where that Snatcher defeated me down below the the underbelly of, of the Healing Church's Cathedral Ward. So I'm gonna head there first. So I can unlock the shortcut and then I'll and then I'll I'll go from there. I'm gonna see if I can squeeze hopefully two bosses into this episode. So I couldn't squeeze two in the last time, so hopefully this time around I should be able to do it. Uh, I don't have any I don't have anything that bothers me right now, so I should be able to just focus strictly on trying to get as far as possible <clears throat> hopefully the sound should be should be good maybe I should lower the sound a little bit because I, I have noticed that my my boy sometimes it's it's kind of too loud so hopefully this works I did level up my sauce spear, if you remember from the last episode, so it should be... I shouldn't have too much of an issue this time around. It's, it's so loud in this section. There's a little beast right here that I think I missed last time. Or did I miss it again? Yeah, I think I missed it again. I actually could have used that that lamp to get down there faster actually now that I remember correctly uh, I remember from the last episode I unlocked the the hidden workshop oh, please don't let me fall I did oh no oh I missed the item though this uh, hopefully I don't okay good Batman knowledge Oh god. Heal up. That beast that was here before, on the previous episode, uh, it's not here anymore. Oh god. <laughs> it's not here anymore, it's only a one time thing. Like this. I wasted four blood vials to skin down here. Now I got jumped because the last time I was here I got jumped. I, I should have surveyed the area better. I didn't do that. This time I will. Pebble. Yeah, because I went against the Snatcher and then I got jumped from the other side. There's a dog. Yeah. yeah, I saw them right now. They were heading to the right. So I gotta... I gotta time it perfectly with this guy. Okay, good. That way, when I face the other two enemies that were here, on the, the ones that jumped me from the right side, don't do it again. I need to die. Oh, no, no, no! Wow, oh, I forgot he's got a lot of range. Thank you, thank you. Okay, so I got rid of those guys. Those, because, yeah, I brought the other guy that's... Who's... wait. He's got my blood echoes. Oh, that's right, I died. That's right, I, I died, so... I died before, so... 
I lost the blood echoes that were here. Oh no! God, I hate those guys. That was my fault, I shouldn't have jumped in. Ah, uh, this sucks. I am gonna use the shortcut though. I'm not gonna go through all this again. I'm not gonna bore you guys. Okay, so I'm just gonna take this shortcut unlike before so that again I'm not boring you going up the, the tower and then going down the scaffoldings. I'm just gonna come here. Should have done this last time. Okay, now I gotta stop screwing around. So one of the things I'll do is I'll I'll just unlock. Oh no! I went the wrong way. Yeah, I'm not gonna deal with this guy right now. Yeah, I should have. I forgot to make this turn. Unlock the shortcut. I'm gonna do it now. Oh, the other guy blended into the environment. I do have to go back down there to where to where those to where those guys were because I missed a few things, but I needed to get this unlocked so I could get through some certain sections faster. Yeah, I need to unlock this gate. What the? Where did these guys come from? Hmm, I think they were patrolling the area. Nice, nice. Give me, give me item. Numbing mist. Okay, I'm gonna need that. I need that later. Uh, let's see. Oh. Black messenger says for my little messengers. Go down to this rooftop. Anything else? Okay, so it should be good. This should have brought me all the way around to this section here. Next, I'll come up this way. Oh, nice. Okay, so take cold blood. Big guy in the vicinity. Okay, so he's patrolling.
I thought there was another dead here. Oh, that's weird. Could have sworn that, that, that there was another dead right here. There's a dog over there. I think the other gate is over there, I believe. Yeah, I gotta get the other gate unlocked. Yeah. Uh oh. Oh, he is here. He's just on the other side. Yeah, he's right there. Okay. Normally he's up here, that's why it's, it seemed really strange that I saw him. Yeah, I didn't see him up there. Thank you. You, what are you doing at? He's normally up there. It's really weird to see him there. And then you. I'm getting a lot of those items. It's gonna be nice later on. Okay. <clears throat> Except for both. Okay, that's good. I'm getting a lot of bullets now. That's really good. See, remember from the last episode, I ran out uh, when I was trying to get the the Bloodstar Beast. I actually ran out of silver bullets. That man has knowledge. Oh, I thought he was gonna come around. No, they're just surveilling a half the circumference. So they're not going full, full circle. I gotta, I gotta see what that is. Oh, he turned around. Oh, I missed. Okay. Uh, I can't get more man mass on. I want to see what the statue is. Oh, it doesn't show. Those are long arms. All right, going back to this. Uh, I know this is gonna look really weird. Like, how did I get this far? Uh, I didn't check that I wasn't recording. I actually stopped recording. Well, not too long ago. I was. I just defeated the uh, the big giant, and I unlocked the secondary. Uh, where is it? I gotta find it now. Now unlock the secondary shortcut, which is located right here, and then I defeated the two giants that were over here. I think that's where I, I was checking the um, the capture footage, and this is where it kind of bugged out. So again, uh, I defeated the giant, and I unlocked this this section here, and then I was talking to Ariana, who is the lady of the night who lives over here. Let me see if I can find her again. Yes, she's the one that's right here. She's just told me to come back during the during the daytime because she's not accepting any. Uh, You're not from around here, are you? 
for an outsider who's come to join the hunt. What a pathetic idea. What a dick. What, you think I'm a beast? Well, maybe I think you're a beast. And step away from my castle. Enough of you. What, you hey. think this is funny? A little bit. Well, I've certainly done to be gone with you. I'll have nothing to do with your beast sons. Oh, enough of you already. Don't just go with you. Fuck you then. Oh. Let's hear that. Oh no. No, no, no I'm getting shot at. Oh, I got him. Getting shot at and then getting hit by that one guy? It's not nice. You? Oh, really? Wow, that guy did a lot of damage. Maybe it's my suit? Hold up, I gotta check what... What scaling this does. Um, it should be... Blood Defense. Blood defense 20. Let me check this one. Uh, blood defense 80. So, my blood defense is 80. Yeah, it's lower. 80. I'm gonna have to go with this one. The other one has a lot larger physical defense, but I have a feeling I'm gonna, I'm gonna get rained down upon by bullets. There he is. There's one. Okay, let's go. Okay, so, is that another beast or is that a Jarnamite? I think it's a Jarnamite. What is that sound? Oh, it's him. It's a blood liquor. Oh, he can come down here. I can't hear him. At least I know he's here. <clears throat> Those guys aren't as bad, but there are ones that are really annoying. The strongest, uh, I think those are called the blood sucker. I mean, the brain suckers. But there's ones that are really annoying. Okay, so I made it to the top of the tower. Where am I? Okay, so I'm over. A oh. uh, watchman of Bergenworth guards the gate with a password. The sacred adage of the Grand Cathedral. Okay, now where am I? If I drop here, where does this take me? It takes me back to the rooftops. I know I didn't explore everything down there, so I'm gonna go back down there. Descent. So I know I missed a few things. Okay, so I'll come back down here. Or maybe I did get everything here. I just can't go up there right now. How do I get up there? Or maybe it's the other passage. Maybe I'll go back this way. I find it weird that all these coffins are locked up with chain, chain and locks. It's like they're, it's almost as if they're trying to keep something inside.
probably, I probably should have just dropped down from that area. Let me see. Let's go this way. Let's see. I think it's this way. I don't always... Yeah, it is this way. Oh. See, there he is. God, those things are creepy looking. These ones, the ones without the hood on, they're not as dangerous as the ones with the hood on, hoodie on. The ones with the hoodies on, those scare me a lot. Where am I? Oh, I know where I'm at. I can't go here yet. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, I can't go here yet. But at least I know where I'm supposed to go next. Okay, so was there anything here? Yeah, there was. Turn blood stones. So from here, I can go up where I came from this way. Because now I've, I've actually unlocked quite a bit of the shortcuts. So I should be able to, even if I. Yeah, for example, if I screw up again, uh, I can actually just come back around and then come up this way a lot more faster. Now, let's see. Anything on the sides? Nothing on the sides. Making sure I'm still recording. Yeah. These guys do a lot of damage. you have nothing. Um, mm -hmm. like, like I said before, I'm gonna try to see if I can squeeze extra two boss fights into this one. Because if I remember correctly, this this game has quite a bit of boss fights, and if I do one boss fight per, per playthrough, you guys are gonna get bored really quickly. And I don't want that for you guys. So I'm gonna try to see if I can get two per episode, but at the very least, try to get as much done as possible per episode. The last thing I want is for you guys to get bored. And I'm stuck here. Okay, at least I know there's an item over there. Oh god, there's a hunter here. There's two hunters. locked in here. Whoa, that guy's got a lot of spread. He doesn't do a lot of damage, but he's got quite a bit of spread. Wow, he does a lot of damage. Whoa, he got me! This guy's, this guy's really strong. I'm hoping he runs out of bullets. I don't think he will. That's it. 
god, this guy's annoying. No, 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 get away! God, I'm surprised he can't run out of bullets. I can do that too. This is a really annoying fight. I almost got him though. How is he not running out of bullets? Oh, he's reacting to my movements. I can play that game too, dude. God. Damn, that was a horrible fight. I hated that dude. The fact he had two guns, that made it more annoying. You, I'm not gonna be as nice. Oh, he's got a lot of health too. He's got a shield? Really? Yeah, you're gonna be easier. Ah, screw you, dude. The first guy, your buddy. I don't feel bad I killed him. That was annoying. That was an annoying fight. That took a lot of my blood vials, actually. That took a lot of them. Not my grandiest moment, honestly. That was... That sucked. <laughs> Francis Coldblood? Okay, so that was the item I missed a second ago. Checking my... Oh no, you? Really, man? Really? Out of all the enemies, you? Oh, come on. I hate the timeout. No, no, no! Uh-oh. Ah. Uh. <clears throat> okay, now where am I? So I'm just across that circle plaza. There's items there. That is the way down. Oh, I missed that little dude. Oh, yeah, okay. At least I know. At least I know there's one there. So I gotta remind myself. Okay, so there's a sharpshooter here. There's two sharpshooters. Well, he went flying. No, no, no. Okay. Well, those guys do a lot of damage. Okay, so that's the way up. Okay, good. Uh, okay. Got blood bull. I got blood bullets. Okay, the other way is the way up. Those are executioners. Those guys are hard. Should I get them? I don't know. That's it. Come 
Okay, I got some blood vials. Good. Oh, there's a lot of them. No, 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 move! Come on, why was he doing an emo? God, I gotta figure out why he, why they do that sometimes. I did miss one of those little guys, but as soon as I got that item, he did an emo. Why did he do that? It's like... Uh, I don't know. I gotta figure out what causes the emotes, because that was annoying. That almost cost me. That elixir. And... There's nothing else here. I'll come back later. I missed two of those little guys that gave me uh, the blood, the blood shards. I missed two of them. One on the way down. And then one on the other section. Okay, so I should he got a lot of blood echoes from doing that little run right there. It's not bad. Twenty-three thousand. Uh, what is this again? It's starting to grow dark. Let me go this way. Well, it's really misty here. Or it's a fog. Ooh. If I remember correctly, those are ritual chalice. Ritual. Uh, those are used for the chaz dungeons. Okay. Oh no, I remember where I'm going now. Oh no. Uh, I gotta clear this section though. I gotta do it, I don't have a choice. Yeah, this is why I hate this place. Oh, whoa, does he got that? He's got that tied up to his teeth. Okay, so. There's a lot of sharpshooters, so that's why I don't like this place. Go away! There's a sharpshooter there on the road. I'm not falling for that one. 
Oh, I, I did fell for it. Oh, that's great. Really? I said, I'm not going to fall for it. And then I walked right into one. And then there's one over there. I know where I can form bullets here. That is a lot of them. Uh, let me see. Do I have anything that's gonna give me an advantage here? Well, I could throw these things at them. Yeah, I could throw a lot of cocktails at them. That did it. Nice, I got a lot of bullets. Bone marrow ash. Nice. Got a lot of good items here. That was good. That was good. I got, I got fell there. I was like, you're not gonna get me, and then I got, I jumped right into one. Okay, good. So I got rid of these guys. Heading over this way. I know where I'm going. Actually, I know exactly the place, and I hate this place. Okay, everything so far so good. Yeah, hammer channel man. I knew it. Ah, good God. <laughs> okay, so I got the option. I can make this a really long video, or go back to. Ah, oh man, I wonder if I should. I should go back to the Hypogean Jail and take on the boss over there. Or I can just do, just come here. I have quite a bit of blood echoes actually. I wonder if I should just go back. Let's see, so I have quite a bit of these here. I got a lot of these. Let me see. I'm gonna use these up. Let me see how many I get. God, that is annoying. Six thousand. Forty-eight hundred. Okay, so I should go back to the hunter's dream. Okay, so I'm back at the hunter's dream. I'm gonna see if I can level up a little bit. Very well. Let me. Um, I should level up some. So I know my. I know my left hand weapon. Scales with arcane, but physical defense for my firearm. Wait, I can level up four times, so I should be able to. My main weapon scales with skill. It's gonna rise my physical defense to 100, 12 points. Should be good. Yes, I'll do this. Farewell, good may you. Thank you. She. Oh, she is really tall. Hey, letter. I made my character really short. Okay, now repair. Okay, fortify. I can fortify this one more time to get it up to plus six. So let's do that. I'm gonna save it. I did get some items, but I'm gonna wait for the end of the video to go through the lore. 
basically. I don't have a single single one of these. But let me see. This is gonna increase. Okay, hold up. So 1.6, 7.3. This is better. Uh, physical up at full HP. So my hit points are up 100%. My my attack's gonna go up. So I'll go with this one. And then nothing else. Okay, good. Uh, do I get anything else for my gun? I didn't. Okay, so we're at 6,000 blood echoes. Acquire, let me see. I want to see, I got a lot of bullets from that one small section there. Got a lot. I'm gonna stock up on blood vials. See right here. 20,000 souls. Uh, blood echoes, I mean. It's, it's hefty. It's quite a lot. This is one of the best weapons in the game uh, for strength builds. I'm going for a. I'm gonna go for a uh, hybrid. It is difficult uh, compared, uh, for example, the Lugwitz Holy Blade is really good, especially in its um, basic form. It's better than the weapon I'm using. Unfortunately, the weapon I'm using right now, it's um, very close range. I'm not used to the, the combat. That's why you see me struggling just a little bit. I'm, I'm just used to the fast attack rate from the Lugwitz uh, Holy Blade. So... Let's see, Fence Square, Tomb Props, Prospectors. I'm gonna do a little bit of the lore toward the end. But so far, so good. Let me see, hold up, one second. One thing I'm noticing. Uh, let's see if they sell something else, and then, I'll, and then I'll leave. Yeah, they're starting to sell fire paper now. That's good. One inside per. I'll think about buying them later on, but now I know that they sell them per inside. One per inside. So let me think. I can go try and fight. I don't know how well. Actually, you know what? Now I remember something. If you can board. Take two. Okay, I'm gonna go back down there again. It's got me worried because that guy took me out with one hit. It makes me wonder if I should even be trying to attempt this boss fight. Maybe I just had some bad luck there. Okay, because when I tried to jump, I went the wrong way. Okay, going this way. Defector on tall. Okay, so you know what I forgot to do? I forgot to buy. I did. Uh, oh wait, no, yeah, I did. Forgot to buy fire paper. I'm gonna attempt that once. If I if I get wrecked too fast, I might have to come back later. Let's do this. This guy's really fast. Whoa, the camera! I'm, I'm going through a lot of blood battles here. Juicing back up, juicing back up. Come on, dude. Wow.
Morg, what happened there? Morg, man, the camera's really going out of hand. Oh, I'm having a hard time with this camera. I think it's... Oh. Alright, so I think I can beat him. The biggest issue I had when fighting him was the... was the camera. I was having a big issue with that, so... I'm gonna try to see if I can get the camera section. Maybe not lock onto him so much. And then probably I'll just rush it. So, I know I can do it. I just have to stay calm. Only lock onto him when I'm when I'm far away and then not lock onto him when I'm close. Oh. See, this is a bad move. Let's try this again, because that was bad. <laughs> if I can't beat him again, uh, I'll, I'll switch. To, uh, I'll switch to something else. Yeah, I think this is the best option right here. If I'm close... Where's the other leg? Woo! Took out half its health. This is where it starts sparking some lightning. He's gonna charge up again. Oh, I got him! Yeah! Oh. oh man, that that turned out way better. That turned a lot better out. Okay, that was that was intense. My heart said my heart's actually pounding quite a bit right now. Woo! Like this. All right. That was intense. That was actually pretty intense. Woo! So I'm back at old Jarnum. Is this where the yeah, this is where all the werewolves were at? Let's screw those guys. I'm back guys. Stronger than before. Wait, I hear him. Oh yeah, these guys die so much faster now. Nice. Whoa! You followed me here? 
asshole. Ah. Uh, still, they don't do as much damage as they used to. I think it's because I've been leveling up my defenses. So everything's been going quite well. My defenses are higher. I take less damage here. But I don't need to be here anymore. Look another recording time. I got a... Wow, that is some weird sounds. Uh, one point, okay, so I, I have enough recording space, so I should be fine. This is where Jura is. This is a long ladder. It's gonna fight me? No, okay, cool. Powder cakes badge. Brush of dust. Okay. All right, old man. One thing he did mention is that um, if you recall that he said that the beast are people and. That's actually the primary reason why they burnt all the yarn onto the ground. Wait, what is this? It's the primary reason why they burnt all the yarn onto the ground because all of these bees right here, they're people that, turn, that got turned into beasts. The reason why he doesn't want to kill them, I mean, it's it's honorable. It's It shows that he understands what's going on, but at the same time, is uh, you can't save them. I know it sounds cruel. Uh, it actually sounds very cruel, honestly, but um, you can't save them once they turn into beasts. There's no cure, and I think that's what he's hoping for. He's hoping that maybe one day they'll find a cure, and if they do find a cure for them. Maybe they can spare them. I think that's what he's hoping for. Again, it's very honorable. It's very... I understand where he's, where he's coming from, but... I don't think those people wanted to turn into beasts in the first place. So... It's just my opinion. I don't know. Maybe you guys think differently. But... Again, I, I believe in what Jero's doing is very honorable. Really. But... I wouldn't, I wouldn't want to see, well, I wouldn't want to see somebody important to me be something they don't want to be. Now, let me see. Oh no, I missed the jump, damn it. Uh, I missed the jump, okay. Alright, I'm going back out, I'm going back. Alright guys, uh, sorry if this seems kind of off and uh, the first beginning of the beta 2, I kind of lost my, my files got kind of corrupted in a way. So right now I'm just trying to remember what I was doing. 
uh, it, it actually took me a long time to try to recover all of the lost data so that you guys can follow follow what I was doing. She keeps falling asleep. Uh, I'm, what is... So I'm going to try to remember what I was doing. I think I'm going to head over to Hamwick China Lane. I think that's where I was going next. Uh, I think I'm going to increase my endurance. A little bit extra. Once I get it to around 40 or so, that should be good. Farewell, may you. Thank you, thank you. Good to come. Fire items. Get more blood files because I'm low. That should be good. Awesome. Okay. Uh, no. Oh, I see this one. I'm with channel lane. Perfect. Yeah, unfortunately, like, uh, it actually took me quite a while to recover all of the data so that you guys could watch everything I was doing beforehand. Uh, I, I think I, I think I was able to recover everything. So. Oh man, I hate these witches. Okay, good. I'm dispatching them quickly. That's good, that's good. I'm taking care of them pretty fast. Blood vials, nice. More blood vials. Always welcome. Whoa! That actually kind of scared me a little bit. There we go. Blood soul shards, that's good, that's good. I need a few more to finish leveling up my. Well, not to finish leveling up my. my sauce here, but at least to get it to one more level before I start needing. Huh? Did you hear the graveyard murmurs? Then it's yep. almost time. For what? I can't wait. I just can't wait. <laughs> sure. Yeah, nice knowledge. Okay, so this is a shortcut, presumably. Man, this place is really weird. I think I gotta be careful in this section. Really? You can't see. There we go. That's good. Now, when it comes to the Hamwick Channel Lane's actual lore, I'm actually not too familiar with it, honestly. I think... When it, when it comes to its overall lore... Did it drop anything? When it comes to its overall lore, it's kind of vague. It doesn't really uh, convey much into it. Aside from the fact that all these ladies are mad. Aside from that, I'm, I'm, not, I'm honestly not too familiar with it. Oh, well, he actually spotted me from back here. Okay, I got him. Oh, there's... okay. Let's play... oh, there's an item. Oh, two more. Yes! I wish it wasn't as big when it, come to, when it came to the lore here, because I wish I kind of knew more about it. Like, what drove these ladies uh, to such madness? So weird. Well, since there's not much lore about this place, I am going to talk about the lore on other sections while I'm actually looking into it. 
Um, when it comes to the overall healing church, and uh, oh crap, oh it's just a pro. And when it comes to who, who and what costs this. Wow, those pros almost got me. Uh, everything that ha everything that that's happened in Yarn, I'm actually dates back all the way to to Bergenworth. Uh, that's why Bergenworth is actually a a big central part in the, in the entire story. And everything that. Basically, the sources of everything that that's been going on uh, dating back all the way to the Chalice Dungeons. That's why I kind of want to do them. Um, again, I haven't heard, heard feedback from you guys. Oh yeah, I see you. Because they found something inside the Chalice Dungeons that actually they they called it the medium of the Healing Church, and that was the special blood that they found. Uh, Uh, yeah, so basically they found a, a special blood or they call it the, the medium of blood healing and what the blood actually is in its, in its entirety is actually kind of creepy in its own way but there's a reason why there's only blood maidens you done? no you're not done I saw you there uh, there's a reason why they only use women uh, for for the transfusion of blood or pretty much uh, communion I guess is what they, they would call it but uh, oh man I wish I could remember what the perfect word is that they used for that blood um, it's basically blood that women give off during their periods it's pretty much the blood uh, that the healing church started giving out I see you there asshole menstrual there, there we go menstrual blood okay. but as to the origins of the blood itself uh, some some speculate it's uh, actually I'm not gonna go that far into it but uh, apparently it's uh, it, the source the original source of the blood comes from something that they found deep within the chalice dungeons as to who the blood belonged to uh, it's kind of a debate about who about who actually about whose blood they actually drew in order to basically create that uh, the concoction. I see. Oh, she pushed me back. There's an item over there. <clears throat> I should really read the the description and items, and then it's better to tell the better to tell the lore that way. Because I think I'm just mumbling around, just saying random things right now. <laughs> I do know a lore to some degree, but not not perfect. Uh, I think if you if you guys want to see more about the lore, I think uh, YouTubers like Body Video. Oh, I got him from down here. 
Uh, YouTubers like Bodybeat actually do a great job at foretelling the story of Bloodborne. Uh, oh, but uh, he didn't finish. Uh, th th that's actually something very disappointing. Uh, when he actually started the Bloodborne, uh, the Bloodborne lore, he didn't really finish it. He kind of started and then he, he didn't finish. Uh, he was supposed to do a prepare to cry for uh, Lady Maria and some other and, a, and some other central character, and he never finished. It. As to as to is if I watch other YouTubers play this game, uh, I actually do. There's one I've actually been watching a lot recently. Uh, he primarily plays horror games, but he, he he's been recently doing uh, the Bloodborne ones, which actually motivated me to start with Blood, Bloodborne first. Uh, I think his name is John Wolfie. Yeah, John Wolfie. Okay, I'm gonna have to skip this guy and open this gate first. He he primarily does um, horror games though. Okay, good. I am off the shortcut. Man, there is a lot of dogs over there. Um, as to other YouTubers that I watch that do games like this, um, I'm trying to recall the other ones I watch. Oh, he does a lot of damage. Oh no, I missed it. The worst thing that can happen is if I get jumped by the other one. Oh, he's all the way over. <laughs> trying to recall, and I, I know John Wolfie does really great videos. Uh, again, like I just said, he just primarily does horror games. He recently just he built, he recently did Bloodborne. Uh, Nuka Ellie. Nuka Ellie is also doing uh, Bloodborne walkthrough. Uh, who else does who, who else did Bloodborne that I actually enjoyed watching a lot? Um, I forget. I gotta look at uh, all my descriptions. Where is he? Oh, there is a lot of I gotta look at my mouse suggestions to, to see all the ones I actually watch. I, I always like to draw from different ideas. I know there's a... I'm trying to remember his name. Um, he mainly does cosmic horror type of games, uh, CPG I think, or CG. I, I gotta remember his name. Okay, that's a rune. I gotta unlock that rune workshop. Shards, okay, cool. I've been good, I've been actually doing pretty good so far in this section. And I actually hate this section. But I've been doing good so far. As to what I look for when watching other YouTubers, uh, I kind of like to hear sincerity, primarily. I don't like to hear randomness. I do cuss quite a bit when I'm playing this, but there's some that I that take it to the extreme that they just like like uh how should I say it, it, it it's too much. I try not to cuss but wow it is Yeah I got some blood bios back that was good. Try not to cuss too much, 
because again, uh, when I watch other YouTubers and I hear them cuss way too much, it's it's kind of a turn off for me. It's like, uh, nah, I don't want to watch this. I mean, like I said, I do cuss, but not as much. It takes away from the immersiveness. You keep saying that. No, 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 no. I just said I don't cost so much and I, I just did it. Okay, so heal just in case. Still right here. Oh! No, where are you going? Really? Twenty blood so shards, yes. Hopefully, I should be getting enough for for an upgrade. All right, let's go. Let's do this. One thing about this boss fight, it, it, uh, the boss fight is pretty simple. All I do is just run around until I find her. I just gotta be careful. Oh, there she is. Okay, I killed one. She's up there again. Oh no. Oh no no no. Oh crap, that was bad. Where's she? Oh no, that's the other one. Where is she? I've been I've been pretty lucky in finding her. There you are. Oh man, she was she was the other one. Yeah, there she is. Nice job. Woo! I I. The one over here, uh, the madman almost got me over here. The one that was up here, that almost got me. Let's light this up. I think that's two bosses. I was able to clear this area in 20 minutes. It's not bad. Open this up. Looks like he was tortured. We're doing a workshop too. Sorry, bud. But okay, so I got the. I defeated Dark Beast Paul, and then I I just defeated the the Witch of Hamwick. I wonder if I can squeeze one more boss fight into this and get through. Well, 
Welcome. What is it? Very well, let me. Hmm. Should I increase vitality next? I can get it up two more points. Hold up. Uh, yes, cancel. Farewell, uh, good me. Let me see if I have, if I have extra ones. I can get three three level ups. I do. Let me see. Uh, just multiply. Use three. So I gotta do all of those. That that should be enough. Welcome. What is it? Very well. Let me. Let's see, can I get my vitality up to 18? That should get my hit points off and my defense. Yeah, I'll get my hit points off. Farewell, mate. Thank you. Ah, uh, fortified weapon. Did, did I have enough? Oh no, I need chunks for this one. See, I got 61 shards. Um, so far, the saw spear's been doing really good. I do gotta get one more. Oh, do I have a? Do I have a radial one? I I still don't have one. I think these are radial. I think these are. I forgot what these are called. But I did get new ones. Let me see. Let me beat me up. Increases thrust damage. Yeah, thrust attack. That's not worth it. Um, repair. I'm gonna repair this. My guns should be good. Oh, I got the... Yeah, this is the one for the, the carols. Okay, good. Um, max vials plus one. Max quick silvers plus four. Power blood echoes from the serial attacks. Physical damage reduction minus three, more echoes when the enemy slain. This one's this one's really good. And I equip the moon one. Um physical damage reduction. So air and lake. I've never liked these. I've never liked having more bullets or more blood vials. It doesn't make it, for me it never makes sense. But this is good. So more blood echoes from the serial attacks, and then more echoes when any when slain enemies, and then the lake. Okay, so I beat my, I was able to beef myself up a little bit. Did I acquire something new? Uh, ball paper. Oh, these are limited. I can only buy ten, but these are infinite. Okay. Oh no, wait. These are number health. Okay. I can buy the bloodshot eyeballs now. And nothing else new. Should I buy some fire paper? Let me buy some fire paper. I'm gonna buy. I got nine. So I'll buy five. And then you acquire items. Yes. Um, more blood vials. Thank you. Did I unlock anything else? Oh, I did because I got the... I, I'm gonna read the lore toward the end of the video. So we don't miss anything out. This, uh, I try to talk about the lore, but I just... I was just like a big jumbled mess. Uh, old Yarnum. Graveyard of the Dark Beast. Okay, so Cathedral Ward. I'm gonna see if I can get one more boss. <laughs> into this video I want to get that armor the crow feather guard looks so cool hmm. I can get one more boss that's three bosses for this video I'm gonna attempt it I'm uh, see Get some fire paper and some the numbing mist should help. Because <clears throat> the next boss, I need the I, I need this item right here. Oh, there she is. This is the the lady I, I brought from the other area. Oh, brave hunter, you're alive. Yes, I am. Thank you very much. 
You're welcome. The town is in disarray, but there are still people here. Together we await the help of the healing church. They're not gonna come to help I you. I cannot begin to express my gratitude to you. The only thing that I can offer is my own lowly blood. Now this is what I was talking about. Suffice? Yes, of course. Coming close. Now. Take my blood. Now I used to think that blood was like uh like she drew it from a wrist or something, but no, that's not the case. Uh it's menstrual blood. Uh let me see. What did this provide me again? Oh that's why. I was wondering like when I was fighting uh Dark Beast Parl, I had this on, this gives me bolt uh bolt protection. Uh, blood defense, arcane. This was not bad. Yeah. So this one was protecting me the whole time. Okay, so now I have an option. I can be... I don't have that many blood icons. I can just run through it. If you guys ever played uh, Dark Souls 2, uh, if I was doing that in Dark Souls 2, they would have been able to continue the attack. They're not coming into the church. <sighs> Let's do this. If I can beat this boss, I'll end the video. <laughs> if I can beat her. If I can't, maybe I'll do two more attempts. And then if I can't do it, I'll, I'll save it for the next episode. Is she pregnant? Oh. Now the way that she she holds that pendant is uh is very symbolic. If you guys are familiar with the Catholic Church and and its teachings, um, you'll notice something very quickly by the way that she holds that pendant. Psycho they're on me. Oh crap. Oh, she wasn't 
so bad. Gold pendant. Oh, okay, that was good. Okay. She wasn't so bad. I actually had the numbing miss ready in case she was gonna heal, but I think I'm a little bit over leveled. Don't touch it! Master Willem, I've come to bid you farewell. Oh, I know, I know. You think now to betray me. This is where it all started, no, right here. But you will never listen. I tell you, I will not forget our adage. So, that old man is the leader of Bergenworth. We are born of the blood. Made men by the blood. Undone by the blood. Our eyes are yet to open. Fear the old blood. I must take my leave. So when Lawrence left the Bergenworth College, because uh, they, they used to work together, uh, Willem and Lawrence, and... Because the both of them had... The both of them had different ideas. Uh, one believed in the power of blood, while the other one believed in the power of insight. <clears throat> uh, that is a creepy looking skull. Uh, yeah, one of them believed in the power of insight, which actually made things worse for everybody, basically. There's a lot of blood. And as the game continues, you're gonna start seeing a, 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 a kind of a shift. And enemies and fight. Um, they're gonna go from enemies that are consumed by the beasts. The eye of, of the blood drawn counter beckons, beckons hunters to the hunter's nightmare. A deformed creature will whisk you away outside Odin chapter. This is for the DLC. So I just unlocked the DLC, so that's pretty good. Welcome home. What is it you desire? Let me see if I can pump some more levels in, and then go from there. I can get one more level. I should pump it into skill. Increase my attack and defense. Yes, I'll do this. Farewell, good hunter. Okay. Our items. Let me get more of these. Yes. Awesome. Now the big question is, okay, I just unlocked... I can go two paths. Which is something I'm gonna come over here and do. Okay, so I did unlock a few things, so... Time for, uh, time for some lore. Um, I got the lead elixir. A heavy syrup liquid medicine temporarily shifts <clears throat> temporarily shifts weight to make deflection of attacks easier, but must be used with care as it also slows movements with no change to defense. The recipe for this mysterious concoction is unknown, but some uh, postulate that it materializes only with uh, within the most desperate nightmares. Uh, what this item does is that it basically it gives you max poise, so you can't get it. Basically, if the enemies attack you, you can't get uh, stunned or or you can't get knocked back, basically. That's what it does. Uh, there's no change in defense. All of this it just makes you uh, like a walking rock, basically. I got the numbing mist. This is what I was going to use on uh, Bicar Amelia, but I, I never got a chance to use it. Uh, thrown to create a mist cloud that numbs a hunter's life essence and prevents restoration of hit points. Said to be used by the old hunters of Kinghurst. Its recipe is a secret closely guarded by a line of nobles inhabiting the castle. Throwing knife. Throwing knife with a finely serrated blade. It's serrated? It is serrated. Huh. Does not cause great deal of damage to beasts, but with death use can distract attackers and 
keep them at bay. Poison knife. A knife slathered in poison. It's a weird looking knife. It's a really tiny knife actually. If you look at it closely, it's really tiny. Uh, the curved knife is thin, sharp as a surgeon's blade. Often used for self-defense special, by special doctors in the healing church. They say that hunters traditionally avoid the use of poison, likely because the poison is too slow to act in the heat of the hunt. Makes sense. Uh, I got the bolt paper. Coarse paper that applies bolts to weapons when rubbed. Invented by Archibald, Ar Archibald, the infamous eccentric of the Healing Church workshop, artificially recreates the blue sparks that are said to surround the dark beast. Unlike other strange, unlike other strange red weapons created by Archibald, ah, Archibald, uh, this one was favored by many hunters, in particular those who even once laid eyes on a dark beast. A dark beast is of course dark beast Pearl. Uh, I'm gonna face uh, different types of dark beasts later on in the game, so keep those names in mind. I did get the third umbilical cord. Uh, I'm gonna read this later, once I get all of them. Uh, there's four in the game, I should be able to get all four. I got the gold pendant right now from Vicar Amelia, a pendant of Vicar Amelia. Used to change into a blood gem which fortifies weapons. This pendant passed down among the vicars who head the healing church is a reminder of the cautionary adage to reveal uh, to reveal the adage touch the altar skull fear the old blood silver shining tear stone used to change into a droplet blood gem that fortifies any weapon a doll, shed, a doll sheds neither blood nor tears and thus its nature remains unknown The bone of an old hunter whose name is lost. It is said that he was an apprentice of, of old German and a practitioner of the art of quickening, a technique particular to the first hunters. It is most appropriate that hunters carries that the hunters, carriers of the torch who are sustained by the dream, would tease an old art form from his remains. Uh, quickening is actually a pretty cool technique. It, it actually turns the it actually turns the, the hunter into kind of like a cloud of smoke. It looks pretty cool. Now, let's see. I got this thing. An exquisite eyeball removed quickly after death, or perhaps even before. Used to unlock the seal of the old labyrinth's hinter tubes. I'm going to end up using this later on. Uh, I got the... I, I read the Blood Gem one. The Rune Shop one I haven't read. Now what this does is that Runesmith Carroll's student of Bergenworth, so he is probably a student of um, Providence William. That, that's the old man we just saw in the, the cutscene. Uh, transcribed the inhuman utterance of the great ones into what are now called Carroll runes. The hunter who retrieves this workshop tool can etch Carroll runes into their minds to obtain their wondrous strength. Providence William would have been proud of, Carol, of Carroll's runes as they did not rely upon blood in any measure. So this already tells you why Lawrence and Promise William were pretty much head-to-head uh, -head, because Promise William did not like the use of blood while Lawrence thought it was um, it was the key to salvation basically that's why he started the church. The powder cake hunter's badge badge crafted by the powder cakes the heretics of the workshop uh, the powder keg's uh, adoration of complex design and big booms culminated in a weapon design that contrasts with those traditionally of the workshop. I did read this one before. Uh, the late powder keg's blessed their souls. How do you model? <laughs> powder keg blessed their souls. If a weapon ain't got kick, it ain't worth it. Now, this is the Spark Hunter badge. This is the one I got from the Dark Beast Pearl. Badge crafted. In secret by Arch Archibald. I, I keep mispronouncing his name. The infamous eccentric of the healing church for his friends. Archibald was fascinated by the blue sparks that emanated from the heights of the dark beast and dedicated his life 
to its uh, artificial reproduction in a style of inquiry that is identical, closely followed by the mythology of Bergenworth. So, he was also a student of Bergenworth, if he actually had knowledge of them. Okay, I read, uh, I got this one, I don't think I've read this one yet. The Reading Sword indicates the heirs to the will of Ludwig. These hunters, also known as the Holy Blades, are what remains of an ancient line of heroes that dated back to a very early age of honor and chivalry. Okay, oh, the Tenetris. A unique trick weapon contrived by Archibald, the infamous eccentric of the Healing Church workshop. Striking this particular iron morning star flail like a match generates the same blue sparks that blanket the Dark Beast. Blanket a dark beast. Unfortunately, for reasons untold, the hunters of Archibald of Archibald's time did not fully take to the to the device. You know, the, the, when Archibald created it, uh, the hunters didn't really like it. Uh, personally, I've used this weapon before in other playthroughs, and I didn't like it either. Uh, it's pretty cool. I mean, it does have some some pretty cool animations for it. It, it, it wasn't for me. Uh, I've everything here. I did get hunter sets. I got the Black Church Garb. The attire of the Healing Church Hunters. The Holy Shawl, symbol of the Healing Church, flutters proudly on their backs. Most Healing Church Hunters are elementary doctors who understand the importance of early prevention of the scourge. Archived by disposing of victims, and even potential victims, before signs of sickness manifest themselves. Their black attire is synonymous with fear and that peculiar yarn of madness. So basically they were killing people off. Uh, even if it's it's kind of like that witch hunt where they said, oh, he's a witch. And then they went off and then they just killed him because people pointed him out. That's basically what they were doing. The Yargo Black Garb. Now, this one. Uh, this this black pall worn by the hunters of the Unseen Village. The hunters of Yarhar Ghoul answer to the villagers' founders, the School of Menses. Hunters' name only, these kidnappers blend into the night wherein this attire. Designed primarily to defend from physical attacks, the binding of thick rope serves for both protection and protect its wear and restrain its foes. Yeah, creepy. So those were the hunters I faced, the ones I was uh, having a trouble fighting. Uh, as, as you saw, they were stationed right outside of the chapel that I didn't go into. Uh, that's your hard goal. Uh, these hunters are basically kidnappers. Uh, primarily, that's what they do. Uh, Heinrich's hunter garb. Hunter's attire worn by Heinrich, the old hunter. The Tacidum. Tassadrum old hunter Heinrich was once partnered with Father Gascon, and though they were fierce in gallant duel, their partnership led to Heinrich's tragically long life. Heinrich's unique yellow garb is resistant to bolt and will be a great help to any hunter who has inherited the honest of the hunt. That's something I always wondered that a lot of hunters live way past their their years. Uh, it makes me wonder if the blood makes them somewhat immortal. Because uh, I think this is the only one that, the only description that hints at that. The hints that they, they live for a very long time. Uh, I read Father Gascon's. I have the doll. Discarded doll clothing, likely a spare for a dress up. A deep, deep love for the doll can be summarized by the fine craftsmanship of this article and the care in which it was kept. It borderlines on mania and exudes a slight warmth. I gotta find out what mania means because this this word uh, it comes up quite a bit. Yeah. Well worn and damp with sweat. It's the first armor set. Okay, I got back into that. Um, I did read this one. I got, I got the runes. I wonder if I should read these. I'll read them. Uh, several runes related to blood, including communion, which raises the next number of blood vials may, may carry. One may carry. This rune represents the healing church and its ministers. 
The administration is, of course, the pursuit of communion. Smith by Bergenworth. Okay. Secret symbol left by Carol Smith of Bergenworth. So that means they all say this. Well, some of them do. Uh, the Great One Odin. Lacking form, it says only in voice, and it is symbolized by, by this rune. Those who memorize it enjoy a large supply of quicksilver bullets. Human or, no, human or no, the oozing blood is a medium of the highest grade, and the essence of the formless Odin. Odin, both Odin, Odin, <laughs> Great One Odin. Both Odin and his inadvertently wor in inadvertent worshippers surreptitiously seek the precious blood. Now, all the caravans have something in common, but the formless Odin ones are all inscribed in red blood. I wish I could get the rest of them, but uh, basically with this one, surreptitiously seek the precious blood. Now, it says the inevitable worshippers. So there's, so there's uh, people who worship Odin. There's other. There's another faction that actually seeks precious blood. Besides the the healing church, we're gonna get into that later on. But there's, but there's another faction that actually seeks that blood. Air. This is the one I got from Heinrich. Air sees uh, sentimental. Sentimentally in the warmth of blood. Sentimentally. The warmth of blood and acknowledges visceral attacks as one of the darker hunter techniques. More blood echoes gained from visceral attacks. Perhaps the heir is a hunter who bears the echoing will of those before him. Which makes sense that I got this from, from Heinrich. Lake. That's the one I got the, at, at the very edge of. Uh, uh, I forgot the name already. Uh, Charnel Lane. Transcribed by the Great Ones. Inhuman voices ripples ripples like a watery reflection. This room means lake, and those who some who memorize it enjoy reduced physical damage. Great bottles of water serve as a bulwark, guarding guarding sleep. And an augur of the other truth. Overcome this hindrance and seek what is yours. Lake, anything that that relates to the body of water or oceans, is synonymous to the Great Ones. Uh, if you guys have ever read the stories of H. P. Lovecraft, or if you ever uh, if you've ever read the again, it's it's basically like the Call of Cthulhu. Uh, it tells you about the slumbering one, which is the Great Ones that sleep, that are hidden underneath the great bodies of lake. The Moon Rune, transcribed, uh, transcription of Moon, as spoken by the Great Ones inha inhabiting the Nightmare, gain more blood echoes. The Great Ones that inhabit the Nightmare are sympathetic in spirit and often answer when called upon. Great Ones inhabiting the Nightmare are sympathetic in spirit. This, um, this one's a little bit strange because it says that they're sympathetic in spirits and, and often answer when called upon. This one's a little strange. A little bit strange because uh, once we get on to the further stages of the game uh, we face quite a bit of great ones but they're not really they're not really that sympathetic maybe when you, they call upon but not all of them the last one the beast one this is the one I got from that weird looking beast dude at the underbelly of the cathedral ward a transcription of of the roar of the laver of the labyrinth beast, the bearer of the beast rune has accumulated temporary transformation effects. Accentuated. Okay, uh, beast is one of the early carrier runes, as well as one of the first to be deemed forbidden. The discovery of blood in entailed the discovery of undesirable beasts. Now this this actually tells you a lot. The bottom part tells you a lot because uh, the church made it forbidden, or it became forbidden because it it, it tells the discovery of undesirable beasts. That's because it um, it became apparent that that people were turning to beasts because of the blood, and they kind of wanted to hide that kind of 
dirty little secret under the uh, under the rug, basically. Um, that's all the items that I got for now. Uh, I ain't gonna stop here because I did, I I did fight three bosses, which is pretty nice. I took out uh, Dark Beast Pearl. Actually, which ones did I fight again? Oh, I, Dark Beast Pearl, the the Witch of Hamwick, and then Vicar Amelia. Uh, once I get back on to the next episode, uh, you're gonna see that uh, everything's changed. That's because uh, I find I made it to. I'm not sure if this is the halfway point. I'm pretty sure it is. The halfway point to the game. So when it comes to the story itself, I'm almost done. Actually, the game's not that long. I don't. Know, as you've already noticed, I got through quite a bit. I only have a few bosses left. I think I have a few bosses left. I still gotta get through one, two, three. How many bosses do I gotta go through? I know I gotta go through quite a bit, and then I'm almost done. So maybe a few more episodes left, and that should be it, guys. Uh, once I start getting toward the end of the game, and I feel like I'm I'm about to get done, I'm, I'm gonna ask you guys and and. Uh, I'm gonna ask you guys what kind of game you want me to play next. I'm gonna I'm gonna write down a list uh, again. That's gonna be later down the road where I'm gonna write down a list of games that I that I have that I own, and you guys can decide uh, which game I should try next. So uh, aside from that, uh, that's it for this episode of Bloodborne. Thanks for watching, guys.